Father was desperate when his six-month-old baby girl wouldn't stop crying. No matter what he did, the crying persisted, leaving him bewildered and frantic. In his attempts to comfort her, he thought it might be a simple matter of hunger or discomfort. However, once he changed her diaper to check if that was the issue, he was struck by absolute shock. What he discovered was beyond anything he could have ever imagined. Stay tuned to discover what happens next. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible stories. The night had blanketed the city in calm, offering Augustus, a 33-year-old professional, a much-needed break after a day filled with relentless work. He worked at a law firm that was a hive of constant pressure, with each person striving to meet increasingly difficult goals. The oppressive environment at work made returning home the highlight of his day. Upon entering his house, the familiar comfort of his surroundings wrapped around him, momentarily lifting the day's accumulated burdens. Grace, the dependable caregiver who looked after Nicole, Augustus's six-month-old daughter, was ready to give him her daily update before she left for the night. Good evening, Mr. Augustus. Nicole was wonderful today. She had a good sleep and enjoyed her playtime. She's back in her crib, sleeping peacefully again, said the elderly caregiver as she gathered her belongings. Thanks so much, Grace. I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything you do. I rely on you more than you know, Augustus expressed gratefully, walking her to the door. Until tomorrow, sir. Good night. Grace responded with a warm, kind smile as she left. Left alone, Augustus felt the weight of his responsibilities settle back on his shoulders. Becoming a single father was not something he had envisioned. The tragic loss of his wife during childbirth had thrust him into this role, and though it was difficult, he dedicated himself to ensuring that both the household and Nicole's needs were met without fail. He did everything to guarantee that his daughter had the best care possible, including hiring Grace, who had been a tremendous help. Exhausted from his day, Augustus made his way to Nicole's crib, where she lay sleeping soundly. The sight of his baby girl at peace brought him a momentary sense of relief, a brief pause from the constant demands of his life. He sighed deeply and went to bed, welcoming the calm and hoping for a restful night. But that calm was fleeting. Barely 10 minutes after Augustus settled into bed, Nicole's cries pierced the silence of the house. Shh, it's okay, sweetheart. Daddy's here, Augustus whispered as he rushed to her crib, trying to comfort her. He managed to quiet her down and she drifted back to sleep in his arms. Relieved, Augustus put her back in her crib and returned to bed, hoping that this time he could get some sleep. But just as he began to doze off, her crying resumed. This pattern continued throughout the night, with Augustus spending every waking moment trying to calm her. Oddly, this cycle of crying began to happen every night, always starting after Grace had left for the day. Each night was the same. The caretaker would diligently ensure Nicole was fed, changed, and ready for bed. Everything seemed perfectly fine, yet the tranquility of the evening was constantly interrupted by Nicole's relentless crying. One particular night stood out. Nicole, usually calm and content, began wailing with such ferocity that Augustus was alarmed. It was more than just the usual fussing. Something felt deeply wrong, and no matter what he tried, he couldn't soothe her. Nicole, what's wrong, sweetheart? Why are you so upset? Augustus whispered, holding her close, desperately trying to calm her. He tried everything. He presented her with bright, colorful toys, hoping they would distract her. He even offered her a bottle, even though Grace had already fed her not long before. But nothing worked. Nicole batted the bottle away, her tiny hands moving frantically, as her wails grew louder and more desperate. Could she be sick? Augustus wondered, panic rising inside him. Should I take her to the hospital? Feeling utterly helpless, Augustus decided to call Grace, hoping she might have some insight or had forgotten to mention something. Miss Grace, I'm so sorry to disturb you, but Nicole won't stop crying. Did you notice anything unusual today? Augustus asked, his voice shaky with concern. Grace's reply, though worried, offered little help. She cried a bit earlier, but she settled down afterward. I thought everything was fine. Augustus's heart raced as he hung up the phone. He felt powerless. Nothing he did seemed to help, and the sound of Nicole's crying was like a knife to his heart. Every effort to console her failed, 
And as the night wore on, Augustus found himself more and more frantic. At his wit's end, Augustus decided to take another look at Nicole, hoping he might notice something he had missed earlier. With trembling hands, he picked up his daughter. Her cries had turned into subdued, painful whimpers, and every sound tore at his soul. Gently, he began to change her diaper, searching for anything out of the ordinary. What he found stopped him in his tracks. Beneath Nicole's soft skin, near her thigh, was something that sent chills down Augustus's spine. It was a small black mass, a bulge that resembled a tiny sphere. With all the gentleness he could muster, Augustus pressed the area lightly. Nicole's reaction was immediate and devastating. She let out a shriek of pain so sharp and desperate that it seemed to cut through the very air. Oh my God, Augustus whispered, horrified. His hands shaking, Augustus quickly grabbed his phone and dialed the emergency number. My, my daughter, you, you have to help her. He stuttered, his voice thick with panic. The operator's voice was calm, but to Augustus, the seconds felt like an eternity as he waited for help. Nicole's cries continued, each one a stark reminder of her pain and his helplessness. Following the instructions given by the operator, Augustus dressed quickly, scooping Nicole into his arms and rushing out the door. He drove to the hospital, his mind a blur of panic, fear, and determination. He could barely recall the journey. His entire focus was on Nicole's well-being. Upon arriving at the hospital, Augustus sprinted to the emergency room, clutching Nicole tightly. He felt a mix of desperation and hope as he handed her over to the medical staff. After examining Nicole, the doctor approached Augustus with a look of concern. That's a significant tick, sir, the doctor said, pointing to the dark bulge on Nicole's skin. A tick? Augustus was stunned. How? My daughter is always inside with the nanny. We don't even have pets. And the doctor explained that Nicole must have come into contact with something or someone carrying the tick, perhaps even inside the house. Augustus, still bewildered, immediately thought of Grace. Despite the late hour, Augustus called Grace again. Miss Grace, Nicole has a tick. Do you know how this could have happened? She's always indoors. Augustus asked, his voice filled with anxiety and anger. Grace hesitated before admitting, I take care of the neighbor's dog during the day, Mr. Augustus. It's just a side job. The dog stays in the yard, but I had no idea it could cause any trouble. The revelation hit Augustus like a ton of bricks. Grace's oversight had put his daughter in danger, and his frustration was palpable. You exposed my daughter to an animal without considering the consequences? Augustus struggled to contain his anger. Grace's voice quivered with regret. I'm so sorry, sir. I would never have intentionally put Nicole at risk. Though furious, Augustus knew he needed to stay calm for Nicole's sake. We'll talk about this tomorrow, Grace, he said before hanging up. The doctors worked swiftly to remove the tick, and Augustus stayed by Nicole's side the entire time, his heart aching with each of her whimpers. When the procedure was done, the doctor reassured him that Nicole would be fine.